Music of the Heart, directed by Wes Craven, starting Meryl Streep as in Roberta Gasparri. What this movie was essentially about was a divorced mother of two sons looking for a teaching job specializing in music. Her specialty was playing the violin. Before Roberta started teaching in New York, she didn't have any prior experience teaching in public schools. Yet, Roberta did have the capability of proving her skills by playing and teaching others how to play the violin. One of the best things that I found interesting was when Roberta mentioned that any child can play the violin. It just requires discipline, which I totally agree with Roberta because anyone who can pick up an instrument and practice every day in a learning environment can accomplish a new skill. So it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, or where you came from. All that matters is that Roberta had a mission to teach her kids about music. Theodore Roosevelt once said, the one quality which sets one man apart from another, the key which lifts one to every aspiration while others are caught up in the mirror of bureaucracy, is not talent, formal education, nor intellectual brightness, it is self-discipline. With self-discipline, all things are possible. Without it, even the simplest goals can seem like impossible dreams. In the movie, another scene that got my attention was when Roberta came across an issue of her music program. One of her group meetings with other families, friends, and co-workers, a couple said that their children are well educated ever since they took violin classes with Roberta. One of their child was in pre-med and the other child was in was a valedictorian. It's interesting because those who learn a musical instrument have a higher chance of a better education and future. Throughout Roberta's teaching career, some of her prior students returned well educated and more experienced in the art of music or violin. So the main point that I'm trying to get across is that teachers have a way of getting through their students, whether it's sports, art, dance, or music, every student can achieve a goal especially if they have a well-disciplined teacher that has a history and other experiences. Roberta Gaspari had a unique method when it came to her classroom management. Though effective throughout the film in having order and the respect of her students, Roberta is noticeably direct with each student from the moment she first entered the classroom. Don't open the cases, put that down. Given it was complete chaos her first day, she gathered the attention of all, except one boy who she kicked out of her classroom. Without any unnecessary vagueness to her instructions, throughout the film she was honest and upfront with her expectations as well as her instructions. As stated with an introduction to teaching in chapter 12, quote, routines, rules, and schedules provide the framework in which our actions take place. When routine is established, some of the uncertainty of life is laid to rest, end quote. Roberta was quick to establish a routine with her students and within her classroom. They knew to have their music and to be ready in a strong standing position. In one scene where Roberta was running late, the students knew it was odd, but took out their violins and practiced on the stoop. The scene was lighthearted when one student, Carlos, came forward and playfully began imitating Roberta. This isn't to say Roberta was without flaws. Roberta's directness often came harshly, and at one point in the film was brought to her attention by a parent. One of the student's mothers went to the principal, and a conference brought forth the issue of her teaching methods, stating she had no compassion or support as a teacher. This could be seen through her use of kicking students out of the classroom without question, when they're late or unprepared, or when she shouts how awful they sound, and how they'll make their parents sick if they don't practice. This, however, doesn't support the fact that Roberta had no support for her students. On the contrary, she wanted success for them. When they performed, however, her style was simply more assertive and direct. Her discipline philosophy, referencing back to the chapter, leaned more towards judicious discipline, as Roberta seemed focused on her students knowing their individual responsibility in the classroom. They were responsible for themselves in terms of practicing, or they would make their parents sick when they went up on stage. She was there to guide them toward success, but ultimately she gave the students the responsibility for their own successes. 
from the beginning to the movie all the way to the end, you could really relate to Roberta and her situation. Roberta goes through so much during this movie. She gets divorced, she moves from home to home, she tries to find a job, her colleague doesn't like her all too much. It's really hard for people to get upset with her and the way she teaches because of all these things that happen to her. However, what she does is still questionable and it's very open to critique. Especially when her kids are slacking off, not paying attention, she really calls them out on it. However, with this kind of teaching, it's really like walking down a fine line, being really strict, especially in this kind of environment. There's an example in the movie when she's giving one of her first lessons out, how to stand while playing the violin. And her lesson was students had to have their feet uh, perpendicular to each other and make a right angle. This way they, they're firm and they're well balanced and they won't fall over. To show this, she would randomly push students to see if they were standing correctly. Some would stand strong but others would fall over. She went one by one to the end of the room to where there was the last student in the back. It was this little girl who was pretty much trying to do what she was asking to. And without hesitation, uh, the teacher pushed the student and the student fell over, collapsing. She didn't have any kind of balance whatsoever. And then the teacher, like almost kind of boasting, proclaimed, see, oh, you should have uh, had your feet standing the correct way, otherwise you wouldn't have fell. And when the teacher went down to pick her up and help her up, she was fixing her legs to show her how to stand. She noticed the metal braces holding her legs together. This really shows that uh, the teacher was really inexperienced and that she has to be really careful how she teaches the students from that point forward. This leads me to her teaching strategies. Her teaching strategies aren't very nice. She makes very destructive comments like you sound horrible or that was very bad. You can really tell that she's inexperienced in teaching. She's very blunt to her students, although we're not shown how she teaches her kids. But between scenes and days that were not shown in the movie, she ends up making it work because they're able to play their musical instruments very well. 